So guys, today we're going to be talking about column addition. Column addition is a really great way for adding numbers together when the numbers get too hard for us to add in our head. So, the first sum that we're going to try and add together is 12 plus 15. The first step to column addition is we have to think of both of these numbers all by themselves. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to take the number 12 and split it into its tens and units. We know that 12 is made up of one ten and two units. We're going to do exactly the same for the number 15, which we know is made up of one ten and five units. Next, we're going to arrange them into columns. You can see here that I have a units column and a tens column. It's important to know that all of the units stay in the units column and all of the tens stay in the tens column. So now we can put our two numbers, 12 and 15, into the column addition. So we start by putting the 12. You can see that the 110 is in the tens column and the two units are in the units column. And we'll do exactly the same for 15 with our five units here and our 110 here. So now we can actually add both of these numbers together. The way we do that is we start off by looking just at this units column here. And we add up all of the numbers in there. We can see that we have to add 2, add 5, which we know is 7. That 7 can go straight under the units column. Then we do exactly the same for the tens column. We know for the tens, we need to do 1 plus 1, which we know is 2. And that can go straight into the tens column. So we know that the answer to our sum is this number under here. So we know that 12 plus 15 is 27. So now we can think about doing a sum that's a little bit more difficult using exactly the same method. Again, we're going to look at both of the numbers all by themselves and split them into their tens and units. We can see that 27 is made out of two tens and seven units and 29 is made out of two tens and nine units. We've put that into the column addition with our, all of our units down this side and all of our tens down this side. So we do exactly the same as before. First, we look at just the units column. We can see that we need to do 7 add 9. We know that 7 add 9 is 16. Now this is where it gets a little bit difficult. It's important to know that each one of these squares can only hold one number. But the answer to our units column is two numbers, 16. So what we do here is we put the 6 in the units column and the second number, which is a 1, shifts into the tens column. We don't write it in here yet. We put it up here next to the 2 and add it with the other numbers. So then we carry on just like we were before and add everything that's in the tens column, remembering to add that 1. So for the tens column, we have to do 2 plus 2 plus 1, which we know is 5. So we can see under here that the answer to our sum is 56. So guys, we're just going to finish up everything by recapping what we've learned today. For column addition, the first thing that we have to do is look at each number all by itself and split it into its tens and units. For example, for the number 12 we can see that it has 110 and 2 units. Then we set out our column addition just like this. We have one column for the units and one column for the tens. It's important to know that all of the units stay in the units column and all the tens stay in the tens column, but also remember that we can only fit one number in each box. Then we can put both of our numbers in the sum into our columns. For the number 12, we know that it has 110 and 2 units. 
For 15, we know that it has 110 and 5 units. We then start by adding all of the units together, which we know will equal 7, and all of the tens, which we know equal 2. This number at the bottom is the answer to our sum. We know that this is 27. Also remember that if the units add up to a number which has more than one number, like 16, the first number stays in the units column and the second number shifts into the tens. We then carry out the sum just as we would normally. And with that I'd like to say thank you guys all for watching, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys soon.